was this 13th century castle set up as an administration building to manage the local royal estates? Or was it created to protect the people of Prague from nightmarish creatures from the depths of hell itself? Dark magic, animal hybrids, and the Nazi occult, all hanging out at Hauske Castle. That's what we're looking at today, here at the Insomnia Society. Hauske Castle sits only an hour's drive north from Prague in the Czech Republic. It was constructed somewhere between 1253 and 1278 during the reign of Odakar II of Bohemia and was officially set up as an administration building. But that's only officially. There might be a lot more going on at Hauske Castle than people may think. It sits in a really weird spot, placed on the top of a cliff, surrounded by forests, swamps, and other mountains. It's a fairly difficult area to get to. There were no nearby trade routes, and it made it difficult for supplies to reach the building. And to be honest, it doesn't seem to have wanted to be lived in. There was no water source except a cistern for rain, and it was built without kitchen facilities. A lot of the outside windows are fake, leading not to outside, but to the stone wall behind it. And there were no external fortifications. Most of the defenses of the original structure pointed inwards at the center courtyard, so it would have looked as if the castle was trying to keep something in rather than out. What's also weird is birds are reported to fall from the sky and land in the center courtyard quite often. And to add to that weirdness, there were no stairs leading from the upper floors to the courtyard level, for seemingly no reason. This has changed today. After the Thirty Years' War in the middle 1600s, a decree was issued by Emperor Ferdinand III to make private castles less defensible. Because of which, the castle's tower, moat, ramparts, and other defenses were taken down and stairs were added in. But this might not have been a good idea. The first mention we have of a structure at the location is a small wooden fort from the 9th century. That was chronicled by, and please forgive the pronunciation, Václav Hayek, and was published in 1541. In this, he also recounts a legend, the story of a strange crack at the top of the limestone cliff in a hole in the ground stretching down to a bottomless darkness, from which the night would emerge strange animal-human hybrids who would wreak havoc on the local villages and livestock dragging unlucky captives back to the pit for them themselves to be transformed into one of the hideous malformed grotesqueries. So locals tended to avoid the place, especially around nighttime. Trying to solve the problem, a few brave townsfolk took to filling the hole with stones, refuse, and anything they could find. But it was no use and the hole ate all of it up. And not just stone, but people too. There are reports that a powerful duke of the Duba clan in the 13th century offered full pardons for any prisoners who were brave enough to take on the secrets of the pit to hell. One condemned man stepped forward and took the offer to be lowered into the pit. They tied the rope around him and began to lower him down. Down a long stretch he went, with a long silence, until suddenly he began screaming. The duke's men pulled him back as fast as they could, but when they returned him to the surface, his hair had turned bright white and he had gone stark raving mad. The man sadly passed soon after, and it's reported that this wasn't the only time that this was done, with each condemned prisoner suffering the same fate. The wooden structure before quickly turned into a chapel and covered the hole with thick stone plates. They then dedicated this chapel to the Archangel Michael, the leader of God's armies. You'll find the walls covered in his image, fighting dragons and weighing souls. They date back to the early 1400s, but what's odd about the murals in this castle is the inclusion of a centaur, the lower body of a horse and the upper body of a woman. She's holding a bow in her right hand, with her left aiming towards a human figure. This is remarkably odd. Centaurs are originally pagan, 
So to see them painted in a chapel alongside angels and other biblical imagery is uncommon. In olden times, left-handedness was associated with the devil and was highly frowned upon. You could even have been accused of witchcraft just for that. And researchers believe the mural is indicative of the half-human hybrids that lived sealed away in the pit. Hauske Castle seems to draw a dark energy to it. Because during the Thirty Years' War of 1618 to 1648, as it stood empty, it was taken over by a rogue band of Swedish mercenaries, whose commander, Oronto, practiced dark magic and alchemy. Him and his band of blackguards terrorized the local villages and conducted terrible experiments within the castle walls, sometimes using the townspeople themselves. As Oronto searched for the elixir of life in his makeshift laboratory, two hunters, fed up with the terror he had been committing, snuck up to the castle walls. Firing an arrow through the window, they struck him fatally, sending his crew running. Despite his passing, locals continued to avoid the place. Later, in 1836, a poet by the name of Karel Heinek Macha was on a walking tour of the region and dared to spend a night in the abandoned Hauska Castle. He described in a letter to his friend Edward Hindel of a dream or something he had while in the castle. He went down to the yard and noticed a strange hole in the ground. Curious, he approached it and looked inside. His vision went black and he was teleported to the far-flung future of 2006 Prague. It was a nightmarish, mechanized place, full of gloom and choked with smog. Wandering aimlessly through the twilight, he was approached by a small girl who told him where he was and what year it was, and showed him a series of moving pictures in what he called a small casket. After, he found himself walking through the night along sandstone hills, filled with holes and projecting an eerie yellow light, which some say is uncannily similar to modern Siedliska or housing developments, like the enormous blocks of flats which in the present day tower above the outskirts of Prague. Sadly, Karel passed away soon after his visit to the castle. This has led some to believe that Hauska Castle might not just be a portal to hell, or hell as we know it. Some think the castle harbors a portal to another dimension, full of fire and smog and demonic creatures, but it isn't the underworld per se. It's actually a parallel earth, and one that has had some apocalyptic world-ending event happen. Something strong enough to blow a hole between this reality and the next. If you're enjoying the video, make sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell. So that way you're notified the next time we release a video on a strange story from the weird world of the paranormal. Only about a hundred years later, it was taken over by something much worse than a poet on galantamine. The Nazis. Their love of the occult is well known, and Hauske Castle's otherworldly past was more than enough for them to take interest. Again, remembering that Hauske Castle is a terrible location for a base, so there's really no reason to hold it. SS Chief Heinrich Himmler was so obsessed with the occult, he amassed more than 13,000 pieces of documentation. And many of these were thought to be stored at Hauske Castle, to keep them away from the Allied soldiers. He was adamant that by achieving the powers of the otherworldly, they would be able to dominate the Earth. Him and many other high-ranking Nazi officials, including Hitler himself, would take part in strange mystical rituals. Many of these are said to have taken place at Hauske Castle. Villagers in the nearby towns reported seeing odd lights coming from the castle walls during their occupation. And during renovation of the castle, three skeletons were found, clothed in the attire of German soldiers, and each one had been shot. It was necessary to clear away the landmines after their occupation, and the official story of why Hauska has never been cracked open and explored is the danger of unexploded Nazi ordnance booby-trapped in the tunnel. 
you can still visit Hauske Castle today. It stands as a tourist destination, but that hasn't stopped the sightings. There are reports from the caretakers of the ghost of a headless man with spectral blood emitting from his fatal wound, who to this day still wanders the grounds of Hauske Castle. There are other reports from visitors with encounters of a half-human, half-bullfrog man who wanders the shadows of the passages, possibly trying to find his way back into the hole below Hauska. No one's ever stopped to ask him, though, but reports go that the screams of what lurk beneath Hauska Castle can still be heard to this day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I just want to thank you again for the thousand subscribers. It means a lot to us here at the Insomnia Society, so thank you. If you're new and you liked this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss some of the strangest stories of the paranormal world here at the Insomnia Society. And let me know what you think of Hauske Castle down in the comments below. It gets weird out there, so stay safe guys.